I'm catching fish and chips. Oh, strike, yeah. strike, strike, strike. From the Thames. How much is this box of maggots? It's only three weeks to get you. <sighs> God, there are so many bones in it though. I'm wondering whether you can cook this for me. Molly. Fish and chips is often regarded as the national dish of the United Kingdom. It's so important to us that we've fought three wars about it. Oh, look, With such high demand, we normally get our fish from overseas, from places like Iceland, and often fish and chip shops have no idea where their fish is coming from. Totally random question, where do you always get your fish from? Uh, I don't know. Hey, we don't know. The fish isn't caught in the tethers or anything like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> of course it isn't, because the Thames is one of the most polluted rivers in the world. It's so polluted that just drinking a little bit of the water will put you in a coma. So if I was going to catch one of the most polluted fish and chips in the world, I needed a fishing rod and a speedboat. Yes, I've hired my own personal speedboat at a great personal expense. I don't think anyone's ever done this before. No. I've got my fishing rod. It does look like a penis. It's a, it's a certain flat pack style of rod. Zach, all stops here. Why are you here? I don't know why. <laughs> so it's very long. It's like the elder one. The boy, <laughs> We have lots of fun. As I'm putting my shaft together, let me bring you up to speed on a few things. Firstly, this is totally legal, as I'd got myself a rod license for my food foraging. And secondly, the boat that I'm on is called a Thames Rocket, a very powerful sightseeing speedboat that you can rent privately for £450 per hour. Whoa, okay! As fishing can often be quite a time-intensive process, this might not have been the most sensible of financial decisions. But hey, as long as there were fish in there... There are loads of fish in the Thames. Have you ever seen them? Um, only when people are taking a bucket out. There are loads. They've got green, eels, uh, you know, all sorts of crustaceans. This is my actual job. <laughs> and, oh, there's a coffee cup. Cleanest river in the world. <laughs> We're going to be catching some very highly caffeinated fish. Whilst we're waiting for the fish, guys, remember you can come to my stand-up tour. You're probably wanting an example of what the show is going to be like, so here's a joke from the show. How do you invite a fish to a party? Do you guys want to come to a party? Come on down. Now, I don't know that much about fishing as you could possibly tell, but I did know this. I was spending £7.50 a minute on this boat, so I wanted to give myself the best possible chance of catching something. Fishing's a waiting game. And in order to do that, I felt I needed to cover as much water as possible. There she is, nearly my office. That was a weird part of my life, wasn't it? You'd be a narcissistic little child. At the moment, I'm just going to be catching birds. Speaking of the Elder Wand, Cementor's about to rip this place up. This is totally useless. Going for about an hour and had no luck. I think I need a plan B. And the plan B is someone who actually knows what they're doing. Now I needed to increase my chances of catching a fish whilst also decreasing my costs. So I went a couple of miles down the River Thames to Hampton and got help from a subscriber of mine called Charlie. And Charlie knew what he was doing. What's this? They're maggots. Alive. Yeah, yeah, dude. During lockdown, I actually ordered a load of maggots and worms online. Quite a... Oh, that is that is <laughs> grim. Oh. Why are they red? Oh, this better. <laughs> <coughs> How much is this box of maggots? Uh, like five. Them? Get your maggots, guys. Cheap as chips. And these are worms. Yeah. Do you just go out and just start digging and try and find them? You just got to pierce it on the backside. Send it along. That one pops. That's not good. Ugh. I'm just a man with a maggot bucket. How many? Just fill it up. The whole thing? Yeah, stuff, stuff it. Ugh. 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 It's coming out the side. I guess that's the point, isn't it? Finally, with some proper bait, we were getting somewhere. Oh, hold on. How do you know when, you've, when, when it's pulling? Uh, that looked a bit like it was, I'm not going to lie. That's pulling, isn't it? It's pretty big. <laughs> oh, it's a stick. <laughs> yeah, boy. Mate, look at that. 
That's impressive that I've caught a stick this early doors. <laughs> if I was a dog right now, the video would be done. Catch one of the day. The rest of the day followed a pretty similar pattern. I've caught a smaller stick. You've just caught a lanyard. Yeah, boy. But it didn't deter us. We spent another five hours on the river, but to no avail. We might be not be having anything for dinner. That was followed by another full day the next day. This video has taken weeks. <laughs> It's just a waiting game, isn't it? This search for fish had taken weeks, and it just hadn't been fruitful. <coughs> that was until I got a message from someone who learnt what I was doing and could guarantee me a fish. Hello? Hello. Are you Jed? Yes. I am. It was a bold claim, sure, but Jed had told me that he was the man for the job, and he took me to a part of the Thames that was his slice of polluted paradise. And who was I to doubt a man with that number plate? I think his number plate says trout. Does your number plate say trout on it? <laughs> <laughs> it does actually. Yeah. Um, Should I put this on now? Put them on now. So tuck your socks in first, because otherwise they'll, your jeans will ride. Go, you're, you're getting me straight into the waders. <laughs> it's not the crappiest Superman ever. <laughs> Honey, where is my super suit? Where's my super suit? Right. Would you like to pick a fly? Okay, what does it, what do trout like? Doesn't matter. I mean, anything from sort of this area would be good. Okay, right. Well, let's get the or the one with wings. You want the one with the wings? Yeah. Fine. What is that? Is that just a midge? It was indeed a midge, and I now need to find out what would happen if a fish attacked that midge. Yeah. So I'm now a fish. You are. I'm now a fish. You hooked me. You need to keep the line tight. Yeah. Whoa, big boy. Yeah. Hello. Right. So if I swim that way. No, no. No. Where you are. Okay. Put the rod that way. Because you want there to be resistance against where I want to go. Sure. Now I'm. That's it. That's it. It's complicated as that. Only issue is, you're slightly bigger than a trout, so I can see you slightly more easily. You won't need to worry about it. You'll just you'll feel the way they're going, and you just need to resist against whichever way they're going. Just go the other way. Resistance was the name of the game and I was ready to play. We were in a smaller part of the Thames that Jen went fishing in a lot. And I have to say, he was putting his money where his mouth was. Yeah, dream. That's good. Keep tension on that. Oh, strike, 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 strike. Yeah, you're on. Go on. You're on. God, he's fighting. Bring him in, don't I? Yeah, yeah. But it's fine. If he's, if he's really strong, that's fine. Let him, let him be in there. That's all good. It's no problem. Oh, God, he is strong. Oh, yeah. Come on, lad. Oh, oh that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Nice and steady, I just want his head up. That's all I want. You don't need to really get the line in. Go on. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Although he's tiny, he is fighting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My wrists have not prepared me for this. Oi, oi. You're my lunch! Ugh. Yes! Come on! <laughs> so this is it, we've got it. It's taken me three weeks to get you. I know, to cook it. I couldn't quite cook it until I'd got the chips, and then the funniest thing happened. Whoa, okay, come on. Good, yes, Jed. Couple of pounds, actually, I actually think they might say on it. 800 grams, that's dinner done. Right, now to cook it. I immediately bunged my fish and chips in a cooler box, and now the hard part is convincing a fish and chip shop to let me cook it. I've got my fish. I'm now going to fish and chip shop to see whether they can cook my fish for me. I have no idea whether it's going to be any nice or not. But you're not going to get fresher fish, that's for sure. Not fresher fish than this. Hello, mate. I'm wondering whether you can cook this for me. It's a rainbow trout. It was caught yesterday. Molly? <laughs> Is this one for Molly? Battered, please, Molly. Can we take a seat? Thanks very much, mate. A few minutes later. That's the biggest bit of fish I've ever cooked. Is it? Yeah. Is it ready? Yeah. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. One rainbow trout. Can I get some mayo as well, please, mate? Is that, is that over here? My own fish and chips that I caught from the Thames. That is a rainbow trout. That is the exact rainbow trout that I caught yesterday in the Thames. Oh, beautiful. God, there are so many bones in it, though. The first bite. 
of my very own fish and chips caught in the Thames. Mmm. One word. Fresh. This is me a week later editing and I feel absolutely fine. Um, I wouldn't recommend you do it, not from a um, hygiene point of view, just that it cost everything. It cost me about 850 quid for that fish and chips and took me three weeks. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it yourself.